let's talk about the audio feature in Notability. It is one of my favorites and definitely sets this app apart from other note-taking apps. If you look at the top of your screen, there's a microphone button. If you tap that microphone button, it's going to automatically turn on recording audio and it will um, start flashing to let you know that you are recording audio. The bar will go up to let you know the levels that you're talking or that the audio is receiving in. And there is a timer that will count down. So as you are recording audio, it's also going to record what you are doing while you're taking your notes. So if I write and um, someone is talking or I am talking, it will record not only my audio, but actually what I am writing on the screen. Same goes for highlights. So I'm going to highlight different portions um, and talk about different parts of this um, article, this PDF, and I can write notes here. Once you're done, you can tap the stop button and it saves that recording into this note. You can go into um, play back the recording as well as search and edit the recording. So what you'll do is you'll tap on that down arrow that appears next to the microphone. And from here you have the audio playback options. The first button is play to let you know that you are recording audio and it will play back your notes. Notice here, show you that it's kind of grayed out. It's not orange up here at the top um, or here at the bottom where I highlighted. So as you play back your notes, it will actually start to write in time matched up with as um, what you're saying. Um, you can speed it up or slow down how fast it's reading where it says 1x if you tap on that. Um, you can continue to tap and it will change the speed. So 1.25 is actually going to make it faster to let you know the levels that you're talking or that the audio is receiving in. There's a timer that will count down. So as you are recording audio, it's and then if it's less than one, it actually goes slower. The um, arrows with the 10 will go forward or backward 10 seconds to let you um, skip through. You can also tap on that bar and slide to adjust uh, where you are in the note. And another cool feature, I'll come back up here and press play so you can see it in action. I'm gonna record what you are doing while you're taking your notes. So if I write and so notice that as I was talking, it's writing that piece of the notes. If I tap on the screen where I've written or highlighted, it will jump to that portion of the recording. I like different portions um, and talk about different and I can write notes. So it's a good way to be able to go back and reflect on your notes. Um, if you're a student, you could um, ask your teacher permission to um, record the lecture so that you have the audio along with your notes. Um, additionally, off to the right, if you tap on that first button, this is where you can choose to select if you have multiple recordings um, to either edit them to remove them or edit start and stop positions. So if I tap edit, it will allow me to trim uh, the beginning or the end with these black bars. So I can trim in those audio portions. I can also play it. It will go up to, like, to preview. The pencil at the top of the screen is going to allow me to rename that uh, recording. So if I wanted to record this in pieces, I could. You can also split the recording. You tap split. It's going to cut these pieces. And then again, I can edit out a portion of the audio if I need to. If I tap clear, it will bring it back to the full audio piece. If I tap on the um, gear symbol off to the right. I have uh, more playback setting options where I can turn on or off the note preview. So seeing the notes animate with the audio, I can turn on or off the animation preview, which is the transparent preview of the animation. Uh, the equalizer option is going to give you the option to t turn up down um, the volume of where it's coming um, out while you're playing. And then you can amplify voices that may be recorded from a distance. Uh, with the voice boost option at the bottom. So if I'm done editing this, I can tap done. It will bring me back to my um, recordings. If I wanted to delete this, I can swipe on that option and I get delete. And then I can tap delete to delete it. 
I can also tap on that settings button again, the gear symbol, and get those same playback settings for this audio recording. The one thing to note about the audio recordings in Notability is that they are saved inside the note. So the only way that you're gonna be able to listen to the audio recording in a note is to share the note file. So when you choose to share these, make sure that the format you choose is the note option. The note option is gonna give you uh, the format with the audio quality. And in order to somebody for somebody to play these notes back, they do need to have Notability installed. Another option that you have available to you is to use the screen record on the iPad to record yourself taking your notes or doing your notes, and this would save as a video file that you can share if needed. So that's the audio recordings option in Notability. Mm -hmm.